Welcome to part two of our Ryzen 9000 analysis. In part one, we went over how AMD used the 7900 XTX. And it's not so much about the graphics card they use, but kind of the titles they use with it. You'll see in this, you'll see in this video, they seem a little cherry picked to me, but <laughs> we'll take a look at that anyways. Um, in part one, we also charted the 7800X 3D results. We had data with the 13900K and the 7800X 3D using the XTX card. We also charted the Far Cry 6 speculative results given AMD supplied us with the IPC uplift. So I'm just going to run through these slides real quick, but this is a end note that AMD provide us with showing us that they use the 7900 XTX and there's N5 testing. These are the games that AMD showed data on, and these are the games hardware and box had data on that matches the data that we need. And this is the slide that AMD had for the IPC uplift in Far Cry 6 specifically. Here you can see the 7900 XTX, the Intel gets 229 frames compared to the 4090 where it achieves 277. So that's quite the difference there. And you can kind of see why AMD would pick that, but that's crazy how much the performance changes on the Intel CPU alone in this title. You can tell in Cyberpunk that AMD only gains 10 FPS going to the 4090 where Intel gains about 26 FPS. In Horizon Zero Dawn, it's like the same story. Intel is so far behind Ryzen, and then when you switch to the 4090, it's not that bad. In F122, they're actually pretty close with the XTX, and they're further apart with the 4090, so it's actually a win for AMD on this one. Given those differences, these are the results with the RTX 4090, the 9950X, and the 7800X3D. While it's still impressive, versus the numbers we were given at Computex using the RTX, using the 4090 changes the results by almost 20% in Hitman, 9% in Cyberpunk. F122 is basically the same, and Horizon Zero Dawn also a 10% difference. You would think with a faster GPU this would result in a benefit in the other direction. Overall, the difference is 8-9% to than what AMD had led us to believe. In this slide provided by Gamers Nexus, we can take the RTX 4090 7700X data and multiply that by AMD's 10% increase in IPC claim of the 9950X over the 7700X in Far Cry 6. Then take that number and multiply that by the boost frequency difference of the 9950X and come out with the 14900K numbers, which is the 13900K plus 2%, which results in a tie. I know, I know the math can um, get messy in that one, but it's just a speculation and we're just trying to use the numbers that AMD had provided us. With the Far Cry 6 numbers added back on the charts, you can see that the 9950X seems to at least match the 14900K if the math checks out on the 4090. AMD seems to benefit in legitimate titles, putting the cherry pick numbers aside, but they do seem to be counting on our ignorance with the information, but we got to keep them honest. Personally, I would much rather see AMD lowball their numbers and then get hype later on, but it's hard to tell if these events are for us consumers or for the shareholders. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. There's only a few weeks until Zen 5 drops, so we'll see what the data looks like, you know, then see how see how it holds up. Um, after that, maybe this video will serve proof as AMD cherry picked the results. Who knows? I don't have any more data analysis videos in mind, but I do have some other interesting videos planned. Um, so definitely subscribe to our channel. We're gonna we're gonna upload on a regular, probably once a week as I have time to do it. I think one of my first projects is gonna be to try to use this Arc A380 graphics card, but we need to build a cheap uh, PCI Gen 4 build. So whether that's using the i3 12100F or the Ryzen 3, 3600, or even 3100, 3300X. Any of those will work. But I think it might come down to motherboard pricing. But <clears throat> if I can get that done, that would be great. I do have the Ryzen 5600X 3D that I do need to get some data points on. Um, I kind of want to see where this maxes out. I only have a 4070 Ti as of right now, but... Um, Maybe I'll see about getting an XTX and a 4090. We'll see. I also have a 4500. I need to check this out too. I heard it's worse than the 3600, but it was on sale. But definitely check us out if you want to see some of that content. It'll be 
it'll probably be videos of the builds with the benchmarks and finally the cost with the sale numbers. So, but thank you guys for watching and really appreciate it. If you happen to be in the market for a gaming PC, definitely check out our sponsor, which is our PC selling startup. Buying a gaming PC can be overwhelming. At Rotoglow Games, we simplify by your target resolution. Stage 1 builds are for 1080p, Stage 2, 1440p, and Stage 3, 4K. Each build is unique, stress-tested, and includes Wi-Fi standard. You can find us at rotorgg.com.